This week on This is America and the World, our guest is Dr. Mohammed al Husani al Sharif. He's ambassador of the League of Arab States. The ambassador is former ambassador from Saudi Arabia to the Republic of Turkey and former ambassador from Saudi Arabia to Canada. Mr. Ambassador, it's good to sit and talk with you once again. Thank you. Uh, educate the folks uh, as we begin about the Arab League. 22 member countries, huh? Yes. And we look at the Middle East today. <clears throat> Excuse me. We look at uh, what's happening now in Syria, yeah. uh, in Iraq. Yes. Uh, it's just unbelievable to us. How do you see it? Yes, this, of course, it started uh, three or four years ago with the Arab Spring, which is not <laughs> anymore. No? Uh, Arab Spring, not even uh, Arab Awakening. And although some, uh, one journalist, I think in New York Times, he suggested that uh, for a real change, you need really generations, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, which mm -hmm. is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, these countries were under drastic change. They were under revolutions, really, not evolution. And uh, some suggested that they should call it uh, the Arab Decade. Others suggested that they should call it the Arab quarter century even. Mm. This means that the span of time it needs for these things to uh, to become more mature and so on. What you see now, really, they are still in a transitional period. Uh, as a result, of course, of um, regimes that stayed for long, dictatorial regime, authoritarian regime, as a result of corrupt corruption on those regimes, um, people are striving after so many years of dictatorship for freedom, for the rule of law, for combating corruption. And this is what's really going on up to now. It might, it takes time from one country to another. As you see in the five countries that uh, these changes took place, almost each one is unique. Mm -hmm. If you want to compare them from Tunisia to Egypt, to Libya, to Yemen, to Syria, to Iraq, to other, uh, to other countries. It's, uh, it needs time. And uh, we are watching now some of these changes. Uh, Tunisia, of course, was the one that really succeeded. And mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. maybe because of they are more educated, uh, maybe because also they are not in, they are in a position more comfortable than the other countries, uh, strategically speaking. So when you look at Syria right now, when yeah. you look at yeah. Iraq right now. What do you see? Uh, I see tragedies, really. That's, uh, you know, uh, Iraq, uh, now it's, what's going on there is becoming sectarian, really. It's, uh, which we have never thought uh, this will happen because the Iraqis are very open-minded, they are very liberal. They never, I think, had this uh, kind of sectarianism, but the constitution that was made at the beginning when uh, Saddam was uh, overthrown uh, had strengthened or enhanced this, uh, uh, this sectarianism, uh, for, to my opinion. I was in Turkey and I was watching Iraq uh, closely. I mean, uh, now you have a constitution that makes the president Kurdish, the prime minister uh, um, uh, Sunni, the, uh, the the prime minister Shiite and the speaker of the parliament uh, uh, Sunni, and you have this. I mean, uh, uh, the government is div is ba is based now and divided on the basis of um, of sectarianism. Do you see three independent states there? Uh, that, that possible? Thus, many people uh, see that. Many observers see that, and uh, that Iraq is going to that extent. Uh, but when you look at the brutality, the refugees, the carnage in both Iraq and now in Syria at the same time, uh, it's, it's, it's just mind-boggling to even watch. What is this Islamic State? And is it a threat to the Arab world as well as to the United States? You know, I don't want to use Islam on those states. I, I, I hate to use any religion, really, to describe... Because it really is to the describe this group. Uh, no, it's the, they use Islam like they don't know that they are tarnishing Islam. I think they have nothing common with Islam at all. 
Islam doesn't behead people the way they are doing. Islam doesn't hate people. Islam, if you study Islam and go deep into Islam, you find that it's uh, one of the most tolerant religions. But, but then how did it catch hold? If you turn the clock back, what was happening in those two countries that made this ISIS or ISIL happen? It's really, it's political. It's not religious at all. This, I mean, this, this, this Iraq was divided, uh, divided on political basis, mm -hmm. and then it took that one took over as a political mixed with religion. Mm -hmm. They used religion, mm -hmm. as I told you, the division, and, uh, like I mean, what's going in some other countries, uh, you divide the legislative, the, the executive power, um, uh, and the judicial power you, on the basis of religion. It's, this is really a problem. It's a very sensitive. Is it tribal? Uh, tribal? Is it Sunni not, uh, Shia? Not, uh, not in uh, uh, no. In Libya will be more tribal than in Iraq. Iraq, you can say it's sectarian, religious. Okay. Uh, Libya, you can say that. Yemen can say it's also tribal. Okay. Now we have five but, five Arab League countries. Yes. Who have now joined the United States mm. in targeting ISIS or yeah. ISIL? Yes. It must pose a large threat to the Arab world. Uh, yes, especially they are very close to the Gulf countries. If you see those five countries you mentioned, most of them are from the Gulf. Mm -hmm. So it's very. It's Qatar, it's Bahrain, Saudi Arabia. Yes. Jordan. Uh, Jordan. And those are very close to the Gulf. And mm -hmm. this. Uh, UAE? And, uh, yes. Uh, actually, four, five, four from the Gulf countries, GCC countries, mm -hmm. which is normal because the, the the Islamic State, what you call it, Daesh. I don't like really to put Islam or any other religion. Um, I mean, uh, describing those people. Uh, what name we look, would, we look what? at them: uh, terrorist, uh, deviant. Um, they cannot be Muslims at all. They cannot be Christian. They cannot be Jews. They cannot be any other. Uh, they can't. Uh, but uh, uh, they call themselves that something else. But we shouldn't really give them that name. You are, but even I, Osama bin Laden hid behind religion, didn't he? Hid, yes, but he is not a Muslim at all. What he no. did, what he did, tarnished Islam, and I think. He but hurt, when they use words he, like jihad, he he hurt Islam more than anybody else. I think he what he did to Islam. What the, I mean, the Muslims now as are inspected at every country before he enters. The so country. what is going on that he uh, that that currently uh, Al Qaeda uh, offshoots? Uh, now we have new names: uh, Khorasan, every day, uh, Nurse Front. Uh, every day, <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. How did they, they rally these young people uh, though to fight? Yeah, of course, the young people are very easy to recruit everywhere. They are. It's normal because yes. they have no jobs. Uh, they have no jobs. They have no families around. They have no children to care about. So, uh, you know, young people always it's easier to recruit everywhere. But why is it so uh, desirable for them to join this uh, jihad against the Arab world and against America? Of course, it depends on how uh, what uh, what are the, on their education, what they read, how they are taught. Mm -hmm. Education is they very, don't have education, uh, do they? Uh, uh, they are, some of them they have education, but in a certain way, they they are they are educated, they are brainwashed, they are educated certain principles that they are they stick to it, and that's all. They are not open to the world. They don't know the value of life. What mm. is life? What is it to live? And if those people are uh, are of, and of course some of them they have grievances at home. Yeah. Yes, so, yes. 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 Let's yes, take yes. that also, and that's why they go and go somewhere else. To We're way behind. Uh, time to take a little break. Uh, we should uh, say to the folks at home who are watching us, we're talking with uh, Dr. Mohammed Al-Husani Al-Sharif, and he is the ambassador representing the League of Arab States in the United States. Take a little break, back on the other side, continuing our conversation. This is America and the World is brought to you by the National Education Association the U.S.-China Education Trust and F.Y. Chang Foundation, guided by Ambassador Julia Chang Block, President. The League of Arab States, representing 350 million people in 22 member countries. ANA, Japan's largest airline with an extensive network throughout Asia. Japan, 
history, hospitality, and advanced technology. Sharing tomorrow. The Petrolin Group, expertise with integrity in the fields of oil and gas, exploration and production, energy and infrastructure. The Republic of Kazakhstan, a rich history and a future of development and growth. The Rotondaro Family Trust. The Embassy Series, uniting people through musical diplomacy, presenting international artists in diplomatic settings. And Ventana Productions, television facilities, editing, and distribution services. Mr. Ambassador, uh, when you um, look at the Arab world and the, and the Arabs, say, in the United States, is, is it hard uh, to bring those two cultures together because of the perceptions and some of the myths that surround uh, Arabs? It's not hard, uh, but you know, in the United States, uh, uh, you have uh, United States is an open society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lobbies, lobbies are very strong. Mm -hmm. Lobbies uh, control media. Mm -hmm. Lobbies. Well, I don't. I'd say, mm -hmm, but I, I'm, I'm just listening. But I don't know that I totally agree with you on that. Yeah, one. lobbies. Not all the media, maybe, mm -hmm. but they have their own media. Let's put it this way, if you don't like that one. Okay. Uh, so lobbies are very strong. Um, uh, lobbies also control the um, cinema, the movies, the, um, uh, all of this. And now, of course, with um, with social media now, I think anybody can say anything, can put anything, can show anything. Do I hear between no the lines, Mr. Ambassador? We're heading toward Israel and uh, Palestine here? Yeah. Well, this is, we, is that where we're We are we're going? coming to that, yeah. We are coming to that. Uh, I mean, the Arabs' reputation are uh, tarnished uh, by the movies, by the media, by uh, lobbies, by think tank organization. You have here in, uh, in Washington 185 think tank organization. Mm -hmm. This cannot be anywhere in the world in one capital. You cannot find it anywhere, only here. And the best think tank organization, would they bring the best speakers, they have the best buildings that cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Most of those are controlled by the lobbies. They bring the people. When they, you say the lobbies, yeah. are you talking about the Israeli? Israeli the, one of, them, one of them, the Israeli lobbies. Who lobby. else? Who else? Some other lobbies I don't want to mention, but the main... Uh, but you'd mention Israel. But the man, yeah, the, man, the one which interests me really as the Arab League and the one I have been uh, watching closely is the Israeli lobby, really, which is very strong. Uh, it's uh, not only strong, I mean, it can be, it can cause fear even to people. It can, you can, it can harass people, it can harass uh, uh, politicians, senators, congressmen. Do you think that, that, that all those congressmen and all those uh, um, um, representatives, I mean, uh, the, the, when they vote... How, 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 how can we work together? Who, when they vote, when they vote, they vote for the sake of Israel. They, they fear Israel, they fear the lobby. The lobby is very strong. Harassment is the problem. Now, listen. And the money is the problem. Without the money of the lobby, they cannot win the elections. But here's, here's, here's the question, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, when uh, people uh, read in the paper, uh, that uh, you've 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 expressed these views before, and and, and it's it's knowledge, you know, that people think uh, in this way. I'm not sure that I <laughs> I agree with you so much, but look at the other side of the coin. When people uh, hear about uh, turn the clock back, rockets being launched from Gaza into mm -hmm. Israel, uh, Israel has to protect itself, doesn't it? There, there, there's oh, a yes. right and a wrong on either side of oh, this yeah, oh, situation, yes. isn't there? Oh, yes, huh? yes, yes, but I tell you what. But, but is Israel uh, it's fearful for their security? Uh, Israel has no right to protect itself. Oh, how I, can you say I tell, that? I tell you why. How can you say I that? I tell you why. No, 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 no. Everyone has a right no, to no. protect if, themselves. If, if, it's, if it's on territory, defending its own territory. Israel is defending illegally occupied territory. Oh, no, no, but, but don't, 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 come on. You, you can't go back to... No, 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 no you, you are telling can't. me. I'm, yeah, but, that, but people are people. No, people, people are, are people. People are you people. Cannot, you Pe cannot, okay. I, I could not, I can't, even... Let's go, let's take uh, Israel no. and Palestine off the yes, table. Yes, yes, yes. When Russia 
is lobbying rockets into Ukraine, mm -hmm. that's wrong. Mm -hmm. When they send people across mm -hmm. the border in the middle of mm -hmm. the night, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. People are people, and yes. they, okay. they should be respected. No, you cannot they compare. You cannot, they should be respected. You, you can't. You not, cannot compare also. But you don't want to reduce no, it no, to no, territory. No, no, you don't want to no, reduce no, it no, to Mr. territory. Dennis. You cannot compare because here is a country. Mm, here is a here is here Mr. Are, Ambassador. Yes. We look at we look at Iraq now. We look at Syria now. You've just come back from Lebanon mm. and Egypt. Uh, Lebanon, how many refugees there? Maybe over a million, huh? Mm -hmm. In Jordan, over a million yes, refugees. In Turkey, over, over a million also. So, so those people have no place to go. They have no home anymore. Yeah, yeah, but they have no home anymore. You cannot compare. But it's all politics. You isn't cannot, it? Is it politics? You cannot compare. Now you brought. I, I, now I, you brought something else. You what, brought what? You, you brought a conflict between two uh, countries recently. But here you have a people who were occupied for sixty six years. Here you have a people who who are who, you know what David Cameron, the Prime Minister of England, he said about the people of Gaza. He said they no, are no, no, that, that whatever was said. I have said for years, people should be invested in Gaza. They should be had been investing. They they should have been investing. Yeah, and and, and they look, are living. They have. But been, what are you going to do about Hamas? They have lived. What they, are you going to do well, about they have, Hamas? Well, the Ham, Hamas. I mean, Hamas was elected. Uh, was elected. Uh, I mean, yeah, but they, clearly. They, 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 between, you wanted between election. Between you and me. In the United States, you but wanted. In, no, between you and me, they are a terrorist well, group. No, are they no, not? I, I, no, I, no, I don't. You don't think so? I don't. I don't. Well, let me ask you this question yes. because I believe... They are resistant movement to liberate themselves from occupation. Sh should they have a place at the table? Of course. Okay. And they, should, they are the ones okay. who should Sh be ready. But, 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 but uh, Secretary Kerry tried so hard to broker a peace there. Is there any hope? Oh, okay. Is there any hope? Okay, I tell you. Okay, okay. I'm glad you brought so many things now. Wait a minute. I, I do. Okay, let wait. Wait a minute now. Let me let me, let me, let me speak. But, uh, but you, I bro you brought so many things which are very sensitive, very important. Okay. Now the the situation between Israel and Palestine is completely different. Here is a here is a country, like the Israel, the most sophisticated. No, 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 let, let us not just just have you sit and and. Uh, uh, trash Israel. That that because I'm not. That's not what I'm here for. What we're here for is how do we bring the both sides together? Yeah, you you are not here for. I am here for also to defend the Palestinians because they are they are, I, I, they are the underdog. Uh, listen, I have not said one thing. Okay, they are the underdog now. The, now you, you you brought you brought that Hamas Hamas. Was elect, elect uh, was elected legally. They were. They were. Okay, you they didn't were. accept them for they, some reasons. They, no, that's something. The else. United States. The Americans, I mean. The, the Americans, United not States you. government. Not, I, not you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The right. Americans didn't accept did them. Not. That's something else. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, what happened that uh, the the Hamas they are part of the Palestinian Gaza is part of the Palestinian and uh, and you know what Cameron when I was in Turkey David Cameron the Prime Minister of England visited Gaza and he found out that Gaza is the largest. Prison, open prison on earth, on the world. Because and you expect those people. Because, do you, because you expect these people, the, the Gazans. Me. I mean, do you? I do as an individual. I had tried as, so many times uh, to go there and do television programs uh, as in a, Gaza. As a fair human being, yes. Do you expect? As a fair human being, yes. do you expect any Palestinian in Gaza will hug? An Israeli who hit him every day and occupy him for sixty years it, it's, unjustly, it's illegally. Not, do you expect me to hug him? You, would, you know what to hug the Israeli. You know I tell you a story. You I, would not. You, you, I tell you. I tell you a story. There is an Israeli soldier who defected from the Israeli army, who and thousands of them, mm -hmm. and they wrote a book called "Breaking the Silence." Okay. He was giving a lecture here. I attended that lecture. Okay. And he was telling us how, when they find any Palestinian house with a satellite, they will go inside that house. They, Look in the people in the basement, mm -hmm. and they watch the 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 soccer match of uh, European League, mm -hmm. and they leave the house without opening the basement on the Palestinian, mm -hmm. and they are allowed to kill any Palestinian who is using a mobile from a window. Oh, wait a minute. So I asked him. I told him, "What is it that makes you kill a Palestinian who is not a threat to you?" Mm -hmm. You know what he told me. He what? told me, "Mr. Ambassador, I don't have a convincing or a good answer for you." Uh -huh. Uh, just say, say, you see, how, how, how things are. Now, let me ask you this question. You just went to Egypt? Yes. You went to Lebanon? Yes. What did you see? What did you experience? It was dark. 
Dark? Yes. How so? No electricity. No electricity? In both countries. It's very interesting. Oh, that's, that's yes, a shocker. Yes, 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 yes. We take that for granted. Yeah. Anyway, this, this was, uh, I don't know whether it's sabotage, what is it? I don't know. But it was, uh, it was a coincidence, which is very interesting to talk about. You know, the Israelis, they had the electric, electrical uh, uh, installments for many years and made Lebanon uh, uh, dark for four times a day or five times a day. This is the Israeli are the reason. They have mm. been bombed uh, the electricity, the electrical plants mm. there. Mm. And Egypt has its own problem of sabotage and all machines and, and, uh, and corruption that made the, really these things are obsolete. Do you think all the countries are corrupt? Uh, many of the countries are corrupt in our region. Yeah? Yes. And this is and why you have those this, those things are coming up because really corruption and dictatorship as part of corrupt, corruption also and authoritarian regimes. We started off on such a good note, but we seem to have wandered in in the direction of uh, and it's always at the bottom, isn't it? Israel, Palestine, and and I, and I don't know enough to be. Uh, going against the good doctor here, the ambassador. No, I mean, no. It's, you, I mean, you. I mean, you, you're vastly experienced in that area, and whatever I could offer, you'd have ten different and, angles and stories no, that I couldn't even uh, come close to. Uh, no, no it's, uh, I mean, the, you know, you know, the Palestinian issue, the Israeli issue, is something that you know. It's, it's. it's how, how are we going to solve that? Uh, you solve it when uh, this government is not uh, influenced by the lobby. Yeah, but it, by it, APAC mainly. Uh, but here's well, now we're going backwards again. Now let's not go backwards. Let's not go backwards. I know. I, I know you might not show it in your program, but it's okay with uh, me. Ah, what do you mean? We don't do any editing or cutting or okay, anything okay. else like that. Oh, Whatever you said. You promised. <laughs> it's not a question of promise. Okay, okay. <laughs> we talk for twenty-five minutes, and that's what goes on okay, the air. Okay, uh, okay, okay. I disagree. Uh, respectfully, and, and you're yeah, gonna... I hope you are not you are not worried or you are not uh, afraid of anything, because they can harass you if you are uh, not with them. No, no nobody's going to harass me. Okay, good, uh, Mr. Nice Guy. Okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Uh, and I will say this out loud: We have traveled to five uh, Arab world countries. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have uh, revisited a, a number, a, a couple of them, a couple of times. The warmth and hospitality of the Arab people cannot be denied. It's in our culture, yes. It is in your culture. Yes. Uh, so that's on the record. Yes. Okay? Yes. I'm a little concerned, mm. or more than a little concerned. Mm. Don't cross your arms. It's not necessary. Okay. I'm, okay. Not gonna, I'm not going to come across the table and attack okay. you. Okay, okay. I'm going I'm, no, I'm, I'm to bring I you. I'm, I, I say I'm going to bring you around to a cultural embrace. Okay. Okay. All right. Mm. Because we have to say problems exist. Geography is geography. Land is land. Mm. But human beings. Mm. And look at the carnage and the brutality in the world today. Mm. Uh, we've all got to work together to kind of yes. move that forward. Don't you think? Yes. Is there a hope? What's going to happen in Syria now? It, because five th us training 5,000 people over the course no. of a year, going up against now 30,000, it'll be 60,000. We're into Assad territory. The League has put Syria off the table suspended their uh, participation in the League of I Arab think States. that, you know, you asked me a question about how can we bring yeah, Arabs how, and Americans how, together. How? But you didn't let me answer that well, question. Well, you got to answer it because I told now, you, uh, no, now, I, now we only have, a sh now you have just a minute to No, answer. okay, okay. Now I tell you, I tell you, now you told me about this, uh, the, the Syrian problem. Yeah. If we, if the United States bombed the regime. Oh, way back when? One year and a half ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. When they yeah, used the yeah, chemical yeah, weapons, yeah, yes, I, we could not have all of those Khorasan, all of those Nusra, all of those Daesh, or the Islamic State. Would you be surprised if I agreed with you somewhat? Yeah. So maybe the Nasser didn't know that this will happen. So it's correct, but yeah. this is what happened. But now is now. Yeah, well, now is now. Now so is now. So imagine now the price we are paying and the United States is paying and the Arab countries are paying and the world is paying at large because of what we have done. Or not done. Or we, because of the United States, we, what 
not have done. And other countries could have participated at the time. We're out of time. Mr. Ambassador? Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For information about This Is America and the World and to watch all of our programs, visit our website, thisisamerica.net, and look for us on Facebook and Twitter. This Is America and the World is brought to you by the National Education Association, the U.S. China Education Trust, and F.Y. Chang Foundation, guided by Ambassador Julia Chang Block, President. The League of Arab States, representing 350 million people in 22 member countries. ANA, Japan's largest airline with an extensive network throughout Asia. Japan, history, hospitality, and advanced technology. Sharing tomorrow. The Petrolin Group, expertise with integrity in the fields of oil and gas, exploration and production, energy and infrastructure. The Republic of Kazakhstan, a rich history and a future of development and growth. The Rotondaro Family Trust. The Embassy Series, uniting people through musical diplomacy, presenting international artists in diplomatic settings and Ventana Productions, television facilities, editing, and distribution services.